Hey guys, welcome back to Joe Food Japan. I'm Nicholas Pettis. Today, I've got a very special guest from the channel called What I've Learned. Here's Joe Food. Come on in, man. Hey, Nick. Hey. Good, good to see you, you, man. Yeah. What's on the menu today? Well, I was thinking yakitori. Sounds good. And Gotta you guys, yeah, you guys know that I'm a big fan of liver. But the question is, is it as good as they claim it to be, the other YouTuber guys? Well, let's find out. Cool, let's go. Grilled chicken, or what we call yakitori, is such a popular dish in Japan that you'd be hard pressed not to find it while walking around town. Whether at a summer festival, convenience store, or even a Michelin star restaurant, the taste of delicious chicken can be yours at a very reasonable price. It usually comes in two seasonings, tare, which is a sweet and savory sauce, and shio, which is salt. Yakitori paved the way for us to enjoy the lesser desired cuts, such as the heart and the liver, Amazing. which are now as popular as your chicken breast and thighs. Today, we're going to Shirokane Toritama, a restaurant in Kagurasaka to taste what I hope will be the best cuts of chicken ever. Before that though, I had a chat with his head chef Sekine to find out exactly what this place is all about. Um, please tell us a little bit about what kind of place this is. あの、味が変わったお店になりますね。わお。はい。あ、どういうところが一番こだわってるんですかやっぱり炭ですね。おお、いや。What does that well, I have a very good friend that's coming on the show with me today, and we're looking forward to having some fantastic yakitori. Alright, so here we are, Joseph. Aren't you excited about the meats and the cuts that we're gonna get today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your favorite cuts? The, the skin the liver, and the heart. Because cool. they just really nail them in Japan. Like in the States, I probably wouldn't mm. like so many chicken liver dishes or like chicken heart. Right. You know, Yeah. but but they really nail it here, so. I mean, liver is absolutely my favorite thing. But in Denmark, you know, we have liver paste. Mm. So uh, since we're, you know, kids, children, you know, we grow up with liver uh, in the diet. That's great. So we're just used to that flavor of it. I have many questions. Go for it. And I think it's very interesting that, I mean, finally to get to meet you properly, mm -hmm. like this is uh, really an honor. Um, I, mean, I, I go on your channel, right? And I let's go bonkers on it because it's like, it's there's so much content in there. If you haven't check in, checked it out yet, please go ahead and subscribe to it, guys. Um, fantastic channel called What I've Learned with Will, uh, Joseph here. Yeah, his fans call you, they call you Will. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people call me Will. Yeah. Some, some people don't really realize that my name is Joseph because I don't really advertise it. So right. Much, so. Good, so uh, this is the, a part of the leg. Smells fantastic. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's fantastic. Oh, that is so good. Make sure to always eat this. Yeah. That is grilled to perfection. Like almost the best yakitori I've had in Japan. I told you this place is going to be good, That's man. No joke. Right? The Very skin good. is crispy. The meat is juicy. It's got the right seasoning on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know it's early, but this gets a chicken dance for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, your your choice for coming out as a YouTuber? Is that even the right way to say that? Yeah, that's, that's almost the right way. I think I know what you mean. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you were just the face and voice behind the channel for so long. Yeah, exactly. So. So I wasn't showing my face for years, and part of the reason was because um, I was really into this whole like, like let's look at topics as objectively as we can and just look at the data and debate from there. Because I would see so many conversations, usually about nutrition, mm. they would seem to get very emotional and someone would have a, a certain viewpoint, and then they're like, well, I want to defend my viewpoint, so the way to 
show that the other person is wrong is to, you know, talk about why they're they're such an idiot or like why they don't have all the, they can't read the research papers as good as me. Mm. And so I was thinking like, well, if I don't show my face and I like release barely any information about myself, I'm just kind of like, it's just like this, all you have there to go from is the data there. So they, they kind of have to address the data if they want to mm. start and debating what I'm talking about. That was the idea. And then after a while, it wasn't so much that, it was just kind of like, it seemed like a hassle. Mm. I'd have to like get camera equipment or whatnot. And then at some point it was just like so impractical to try and put out all these super long videos and have like an animation or a stock footage or like some little uh, motion graphic for every single scene. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just like, I'm just gonna- <laughs> You're gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of, it's more engaging to, yeah. to like actually have a face put a face to the voice and like actually look at the camera and like make eye contact with the people. Yeah, no, I, I think your right channel choice. is amazing. I mean, on top of that, how is how is that journey then been, been since then? What is the difference in feedback from uh, people who have been following your channel for years? The funny thing is I got, I got several comments that were saying something like, he somehow looks exactly how I imagined, but at the same time, nothing like what I would imagine. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that means, but all right. <laughs> It's kind of like taking Spider-Man's mask off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow! <laughs> Why Japan? Mm. Why did you choose to come here? So, yeah, it's a great question. I was taking some Japanese courses and actually my brother was telling me like, oh, you should do a study abroad somewhere. It's really great. Like, it, it'll totally be worth it. It's really fun. Just, just do it. And so, well, you know, I'm studying Japanese. Um, one of my best buddies in high school, he was a quarter Japanese, so he mm. would, like, I would go to his grandpa's house and he would have just, like, the coolest stuff, like, old uh, samurai movies or, like, kendo stuff. So my buddy, he used to do kendo. Anyways, I came to study in Japan because, like, that was the really intriguing country to me. And then uh, I studied for, what was it, like, a year and a half. All right, so this is belly meat. This is the harami. Oh, wow, that's got a lot of fat on it, which when you grill it on the on the charcoal, it gets all kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe this properly, but it's really soft. And at the same time, there's a little mm. bit of crunchy to it. And then the salt in it, ooh, it's actually really yummy, but quite this, fatty. This is great. I, I want to say it's like, I feel like you could taste, like with this one, you can really taste the quality of the chicken. Yeah. It's like, whatever they're doing to raise it, it's great. Mm. Mm. I don't know if this was like this back in the day with chicken, but I do know the harami from the uh, the cows, for example, that was discarded and they never ate it because it was too fatty, considered too fatty. Really? Yeah. yeah. This is so good. There's only one mistake. So pick up your chopsticks and in the tradition oh. of the show, <laughs> here we go. Itadakimasu! <laughs> <Feel like I'm laughs> I was yeah. gonna ask you a little bit about about food. Yeah, because you were the ask ahead <laughs> K1 champion in 2001, right? Yes, Japan. and you've done decades of karate. Yeah. I'm curious about like what what did you eat when you're training? Like, well, so I mean, do? this is a funny story, and I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible. When I first arrived in Japan in 1991, I was 18 years old, and um, I just quit high school like a year before that and saved up money for a year and then I came to live in a dorm for three mm. years. And when I arrived here, I was 72 kilos. By the time I finished, because my master used to tell me, oh, you're too skinny, you gotta gain weight. <laughs> for over three years, he made me gain 30 kilos. So I went from a skinny kid to a fully fledged heavyweight fighter in three years. And during that time, if you want to ask me what I ate, I ate everything I could put my hands on. We were training also four or five hours a day, so it didn't matter. We was, you know, we were ripped and fit and strong, and, and it was just muscle that got packed on. That's nuts. Yeah, That's crazy. <laughs> to talk about that, let's move on to the yeah. next uh, dish because this is my all-time favorite, and I've got questions. So this is the red liver. Now today we're going to experience two different kinds of livers: the red liver and the white liver. Masa, how is it that you're so good with making the cooking here? <laughs> it's so soft. Yeah, 
And so you could still see that, right? They get a little bit burnt from the charcoal because they dip it in the sauce, but you want that burntness. It just adds to the flavor. It is mm. so good. It is so rich in its texture and flavor. It just really is delicious. That's awesome. I think that's, that's the thing is why people in the States, they don't like liver because they cook the hell out of it. So it's like, it's like chewing on a piece of rubber by the end of the <laughs> end of the cooking. I mean, definitely. This is like the king of the show. We just had the first one, which is the red liver. Right now he's over there, he's cooking the one which is called the white liver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the difference between the two livers, it's they came from the same chicken basically. But depending on how you breed the chicken and depending on how you feed the chicken, the liver gets either super enriched, which is the white liver. Mm. So this next one coming up might have even more nutrients than the one that we just had. Mm -hmm. Educate me on liver. So when people, they say this or that is nutritious. If we're talking about actually like what is literally the most nutritious food, like in terms of it has the most nutrients, then that would definitely be liver. Maybe you could say oysters have, they, they have some different nutrients, but, but liver is definitely like at least one of the most nutritious foods on the planet. And so- Do you think that is something humans potentially knew? Mm -hmm. When you take down an animal in hunting back in the day, mm. even now today, that's the first thing that gets eaten. Like mm. that's the most honorable piece of meat from the from the whole animal when they take out the liver. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. and even with uh, yeah, with humans or with with other animals, like like with wolves, what will right. happen is when they take down a prey, the alpha male will go in and then eat the the most nutritious organs in order. All right, this is the white liver. And it's not done with the sauce, it's done with salt. So, good luck on this one. <laughs> oh. I think I love you. <laughs> yeah. But liver mm. has a very distinct flavor, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So, sometimes if you get it with the sauce, right? The, like the one we just had. It's that sweetness and then the little burnt of the sauce. Mm -hmm. But this one, it is the taste of the liver. Exactly. That yeah. comes out. You, and you can really taste it. It's a yeah. little firmer. Yeah. Like some of the, you know, you buy a store-bought liver, it's got a little bit of this like kind of, I guess, stink, you might say. So yeah. You might like... Be turned it, off from it, right? Right, but yeah. but this has like zero, I think. Yeah. It's just the quality of the chicken. Super fresh. But yeah, excellent. Anyway, you were saying, but the, the the wolves, when they take down prey, that they go straight oh, for yeah, the innards. Yeah. No, so, so you were saying like, I think, what was it? When people were studying wolves, they would always be able to tell which one was the alpha wolf because they could go in or they would just watch and see like, okay, which wolf eats the liver yeah. first. So it's like, he's the big dog. So he gets the best piece. And so the, the thing about liver, I mean, it's got all, all these different vitamins, you know. So the notable ones are vitamin A. It's got high amounts of pretty much every B vitamin. And then you have like iron, zinc, things like that. And so, but the one I would focus on is probably vitamin A. I think what was it, something like 100 grams of chicken liver will give you 300% your daily value of vitamin A. Wow. And that's significant because not too many people, I think the average person doesn't get all that much vitamin A in their diet. It's something like 50% of Americans are deficient in vitamin A. And so what does vitamin A do for you? It's one of those things where I like list out all the different functions. It sounds like a, like a snake oil thing. It's like it does this and it <laughs> improves your skin and it, and it uh, you know, it helps with cell different differentiation, but that's probably the one I think that makes it easiest to understand mm. is it helps with cell di differentiation. So when your body is basically making new cells, right. it has to use vitamin A. So think about like, like when you're building muscle. Yeah. When you go on a high protein diet, it depletes vitamin A. Interesting. Because to use protein, you have to have vitamin A. Sure. Speaking of protein. Sure. This is the shoulder. And uh, it also comes with a yuzuko shot, which is a bit spicy. All right. Hmm. Mm. That's like nice. really meaty, right? Yeah. Like you really get like mm. a chunk of meat on it. And actually this yuzuko shot, it's, uh, it's got some sea, sea citrus in it kind of. So it is a little bit like, almost like putting lemon on it, but a little bit more, more refined in some way. It's a, it's a nice contrast, right? Yeah. It's good. That's awesome. All right, so this is the heart. Straight for the heart. Mm. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. That's really good. 
I've never really been a fan of the heart, but this heart has got some heart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like the chickens or the way he cooks it or something, but like, like legit, I wasn't lying when this is, when I said this is probably the best yakitori I've had. I've never had a heart this good. You could give it, you probably give it to someone who hates heart and just say like, oh, it's, it's this other cut. And they'd yeah. be like, oh, it's delicious. Yeah. I have no idea. So, um, I mean, you look kind of fit. I found this gym. Really? Very, very good gym. Where? Here in Japan? Yeah. Wow. It was right around. You know, actually, I think I met you there. Yeah. <laughs> he comes to my gym. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I go to Nick's, Nick's CrossFit gym. Small world, huh? Yeah. Like it really is a small world. I did. I joined some gym classes. I, I can't remember what the other thing. It wasn't CrossFit. Yeah. But it was just too easy, and I just like felt like this isn't really challenging. And then right. I showed up at the CrossFit gym. I just immediately <laughs> felt like like weenie shorts weakling. Like I, right, right. Just just everyone. CrossFit is quite the humbling uh, fitness method. Oh, yeah. I must say that. Oh yeah. Is this the fattiest one? It looks like the fattiest cut we've had. This is probably your favorite cut, the bonjiri. This is oh, the, that's right. the, the, oh, okay. chicken, the chicken rump butt? What do you call it? <laughs> tail rump tail, butt, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, oh, you can smell that. It is. I want to see your reaction first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His face says that's it all. fantastic. This comes from a very healthy chicken, for sure. Oh, yeah. Because I've, yeah. had, I've had bonjiri that has been just a lump of fat, but this is mm -hmm. a worked out chicken butt, like for real. <laughs> I hate to say it like that, but it's the only way to describe it. Cross this got chicken. some, it's got some girth in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the IG tract of the chicken. So we're really going from like snout to tail kind of thing mm. in this one. Very interesting. This was dipped in the sauce. So we probably experienced that, you know, or expect to have that kind of flavor. Mm. Oh, wow. The texture is really nice, actually. I don't know yeah. how he makes it soft. Yeah, not as crunchy as I was expecting. I was expecting it to just be like a bunch of car loops. Yeah. Really good. I gotta say though, this would go so well with some Japanese sake. So far, we've had, yeah, eight dishes. Mm -hmm. Is there any one of them in particular that stood out as your favorite one? Yeah, so um, so they were all all really good. The the heart really stood out because that was, that was probably the best heart that I had, but I really like liver. Mm. And he totally nailed the liver. So I'd probably say the, the red liver was my favorite. What about you? Uh, for sure the liver. Yeah. The red liver, yeah. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. I'd come back for that in a heartbeat. This is the bottom part of the heart. So it's a new piece of meat for me mm. that I've never tried before. It kind of looks like a kebab sitting on this stick. Yeah, yeah, it really does. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've had this before. Oh. Dude, he's done it again. He's done it again. <laughs> Chef Segine, you're a master of yakitori. It's it's like so soft again. I would never have guessed this is chicken if you didn't tell mm. me. Wow. I mean, really, wow. So uh, what are you actually planning after this? Actually, I was uh, planning on heading home, probably eat about 15 eggs, something like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> For context, I'm, I'm doing this, we were talking about this before, I'm doing this challenge to eat 30 eggs a day for 30 days. So I've, back in the day, I've done 30 burpees a day for 30 days. <laughs> that was a Spartan race challenge, by the way. But that just sounds bonkers, what you just said there. <laughs> I think I got an idea what it is. But uh -huh. what is it exactly that you're doing and what are you trying to accomplish with it? So, so basically, long story short, is that there's this bodybuilder back in the day, Vince Ronda, sometime in the 1960s, and he claimed that eating 36 eggs a day for six weeks is as good as a mild steroid cycle. Yeah. So uh, I started looking into it, and then as we were talking about before, if you're eating 30 eggs a day, eggs are actually an excellent source of vitamin A. Yes. So you're like just pounding vitamin A and you're getting the protein. So mm. as we were saying before, you need vitamin A to utilize protein. So I was thinking, Maybe there's something there. And so, honestly, the research is really limited. Right. So. <laughs> I did find out though, like looking at it, that yeah. it also came from a study done on burn victims. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really interesting. 
because that yeah. was probably the the instigator for the original like idea yeah. of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burn victims they need the uh, the the steroids, uh, the testosterone to like recover their skin faster. And mm. like I thought that was really interesting. Why not just do a double whammer and do 300 grams of liver and 30 <laughs> eggs a day for a month? Damn, that would be pretty intense. Something to think That'd about. Be pretty intense. I'll have to do that next for my next steroid cycle. I'll have to do that. <laughs> This is actually the Rencon from Ishikawa here in Japan. It is actually a very difficult route to cook, so I'm looking forward to it. Mm. That's got a very distinctive, like, rooty kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. The texture is really good because you crunch in it. Mm -hmm. And then the more you crunch into it, the more that Rencon flavor comes out. It's been cooked with a bit of sauce, right? How do I put it? It's like savory. It's like a more... P potato with like a with like a much more intricate flavor. It's definitely like a potato. It's potato issues. They've got this other potato in Japan, which is called a nagaimo, which mm. is the one that they they top of it and they, they shave it down and becomes this you know gooey kind of mass. It feels like that, but in a hard form. One thing I've ever seen this in in the states. I've never seen this in Denmark. This I know for sure. I've only had it here in Japan. And it's kind of one of those things. It's like a little um, icon thing that they put in bentos and stuff like that. But coming out here as one of the dishes from the chef is quite interesting actually. I kind of like it. This is the abalone mushroom. It's got like a forest smell to it somehow. Mm. Right, so the name says uh, it's an abalone, so it should probably go ahead and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna taste like that. Wait, very soft for a mushroom. What do you I, think? I, I've had um, abalone slow cooked for hours and hours and hours to make it as soft as this mushroom is. Man, if you had not told me that it was mushroom, I would be like hard pressed to like know the difference. Specifically because when you put the sudachi, which is like very, it's like a, a Japanese uh, uh, lemon. And that kind of kills the, uh, kills the, the, the deceptive taste of the forest. Mm. And I could have been convinced that that was fish. <laughs> and this is the thigh or also known in Japanese as the obi. Now remember, we're down to the last two dishes here. That means he's built it up over the last eight ones, refreshed our mouths with some fantastic mushrooms and everything. I think we're in for a treat here, all right? Chef, this is incredible. Sugoi this. I, I know I said my, my chicken dance came too early, but this, this gets a double chicken dance today. <laughs> I feel like a bird eating this. This is so meaty and juicy, but it's a lean cut. Right. It's a lean cut of chicken. It's not fatty like, you know, of the other pieces that we've had up until now. It feels fatty though. Yeah, <laughs> it is definitely delicious. But sometimes like the yeah. fat, it's like you're just eating the fat and it's can mm -hmm. be overwhelming a bit. Mm -hmm. But this one, it's got enough lean beef and protein in there that you really get a good crunch, uh, crunch out of it. Oh man, mm -hmm. I'm loving this. So here we are, this is the last one. It's like the end of the course and it's cheese from Shimane. Let's check it out. Mmm. Wow. This brings me back to the sound, sound of music in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slightly salty. Mm. You got that crispy uh, outside of it that's been burned there. So, so good. Come on. Like I've cooked mozzarella before in a pan and it's just mm. like, like some, you know, what's left and then a pile of grease. But this doesn't have that like grease in it. It's really good. Could never really go wrong with cheese. I gotta say though, I've had right. this conversation with many of my friends. Is there anything you think that you could pair with cheese that wouldn't be good? That's a good point. You got like what? honey and cheese, fruit and cheese. Like pizza, eat, like whatever. Even fish. This was like a full course, right? Yeah, like we really went from the bottom to the top of, the, of mm. the chicken with all the different cuts and everything and then finishing off with cheese. I thought it was beautiful. Excellent. What are your what are your thoughts on it today? Oh man, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how you can top that. I'm like afraid to go to other yakitoris because this one's so good. I guess I'll just come here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so fresh. There's some chili in there for sure. Ikura don. One, two, three, come here. Just open it up a little bit. Itadakimasu! All right, guys, thank you very much for joining us on this fantastic journey of yakitori. The question really is, what did you learn today? That this is the best yakitori place in Japan. 
And there you have it. Leave a comment below if you love what you see and you see what you like. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Set the reminder, because we'll be back next time. See ya!